the staff repeatedly came into the room to see him and plead that he make a strong public statement condemning the violence and instructing the mob to leave the Capitol. The committee showed us tonight that throughout those 187 minutes, you know, we've known about these onslaught of texts that Mark Meadows was getting. We knew about the texts that Ivanka Trump was getting, phone calls that Don Jr. was making. We knew about some aspect of this. But tonight it really just showed the grasp and, you know, the widespread effort by those around the president those in this building, in the Capitol building, and just his allies across the country, whether it was Fox News anchors or others, trying and efforting for hours to get him to say something as the violence ensued on the Capitol, and to see that all of their efforts were fruitless. You have got to stop this. You are the only person who can call this off. The first really striking thing that comes to mind after this hearing is the outtakes that they played tonight of the January 7th video that Trump filmed, you know, for a long time. But this election is now over. Congress has certified the results. I don't want to say the election's over. I just want to say Congress has certified the results without saying the election's over, okay? My only goal was to ensure the integrity of the vote. Trump would not look at his supporters, look at the American people, make the statement for this national healing moment that his staff was hoping that America could have the next day. He would not say the words, he would not admit defeat. And we fight. We fight like hell. And if you don't fight like hell, you're not going to have a country anymore. At the end of this hearing tonight, the committee said that they're taking a hiatus in August, and, and, and they made it really clear that they're not ending their investigation. They are not. This will not be the last hearing, but they will continue their investigative work and in hoping that you know these series of eight, nine hearings will embolden others to come forward. And every American must consider this: Can a president who is willing to make the choices Donald Trump made? during the violence of January 6th, ever be trusted with any position of authority in our great nation again.